In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use dimensional analysis, which is a process of carrying units throughout a computation, and that is mainly used to convert units. Here's our first example. We want to change 36 hours into seconds. So we're going to write your first uh, fraction, 36 hours over one. I will explain in a minute why there's a red slash here. So we want to convert hours into seconds. So think about what type of relationship hours has to another measurement of time. Well, I know that one hour has 60 minutes. So now think about cross canceling. You all should know how to do cross canceling. So if I want to cancel out the hours label here, in order to cross cancel the hours, I need to make sure that I have another hours label in the denominator. So I know in one hour, there are 60 minutes. So 60 minutes is written on top. So the red slashes just indicates that those labels are now canceled out. So the 60 minutes, the question wants seconds. So I know I have to convert now the minutes into seconds. So if my minutes is in the numerator right here, in order to cancel out, you should know that the minutes label should be in this denominator right here. So think about how are minutes related to seconds? Well, I know one minute has 60 seconds. So now your minutes label gets canceled out. And the only label that's left over is seconds, which is what we're trying to do. So, the equivalent of 36 hours in seconds is basically 36 times 60 times 60. And that would be 129,600 seconds. Here's another example. We want to convert 65 miles per hour to inches per second. So 65 miles per hour is written as a fraction 65 miles divided by one hour. I'm going to choose to convert my hours into seconds first. So in order for the hour label to be canceled in the denominator, I know that my hour label must be in my numerator of the second fraction. One hour, I already know based on the first example, has 60 minutes, but I need to continue to convert minutes into seconds. In my third fraction, in order to cancel out minutes, my numerator has to be minutes. And in the first example, I said one minute is the same thing as 60 seconds. So now all my labels in red indicate that they've been canceled out. So let's go back and try to cancel out the miles, which we haven't done yet. So 65 miles, if I want it to be canceled out here, in my fourth fraction, I know that my miles has to be in the denominator in order to cross cancel. Now you might have to look up in Google or a math reference sheet in your textbook, but the equivalent of one mile is 5,280 feet. But I don't want feet either, I need inches. So you might need to refer to um, Google or refer to another math reference sheet. And in order for you to cancel out the feet, the feet label has to be in your denominator. And you all should know that one foot is the same equivalent as 12 inches. So now you have um, inches left over in the numerator and seconds left over in the denominator. All other labels have been cross canceled. So simply take all the numbers in your numerator and multiply them together. 65 times one, times one, times 5,280, times 12. That will give you 4,118,400 inches. In your denominator, you take one times 60, times 60, times one, times one, that's basically 60 squared, which is 3,600 seconds. Continue to do the calculation and 65 miles per hour is the same as 1,144 inches per second. So I hope those two examples using dimensional analysis 
shows you how to convert units and also shows you how to continue carrying those units throughout the entire computation process. Thanks for watching.